to comfort the afflicted and to afflict the comfortable. That's actually what it's been said one old Puritan preacher used to say is the job of a pastor to comfort the afflicted and to afflict the comfortable. The sermon should comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. Why? Well, let's consider Luke chapter 16 beginning in verse 19, the parable of Lazarus and the rich man. You'll remember the rich man is feasting he is wearing purple, the special clothing of the elites in the Roman Empire. Uh, a muscle, a dye was used to put purple on some of the garments. Then there's Lazarus, the beggar. The dogs are licking his wounds by the man's gate. And then it says they die. Lazarus is carried to the presence of God and Abraham. And the rich man just dies and is buried. Then it says he is in torment. And he longs to be comforted. And God says to him, in your life you had many good things. He was comfortable, but ended up being afflicted for eternity. Lazarus was afflicted, ended up being comforted for eternity. The prophet Isaiah said, comfort, comfort my people. That is, we receive comfort by going through the agony of life transformation with Christ. Why do I say the agony? Well, in Luke chapter 13, Jesus put it like this. Agonize, some of the Bibles translated, strive to enter through the narrow door. For many, I tell you, will want to, but will not be able. And I will say, I never knew you. In other words, those who agonize now will be comforted later. Those who have only comfort now, well, unfortunately, like the rich man, they will be in agony later and seek comfort, and comfort can't be found. To comfort the afflicted, to afflict the comfortable, sometimes affliction is actually the way to eternal life. This is your daily devotional. Hope you're doing well. Hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me and Seek first the kingdom of God, and remember how Jesus said, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. God bless you for your faithfulness, for watching and taking these devotionals into your heart. Amen.